how's it going Kim here? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the second week of fitness. Today's workout is a 25 minute full body strength workout and we are doing triceps. So we're gonna take three exercises, work them back to back for three, 30 seconds, then we'll take a 30 second recovery. You're gonna need a set or more of dumbbells for this workout and we will be on the floor for a couple of sets so make sure you've got a mat. We also, because there is a red present under the tree, going to have a finisher today. So go ahead, get yourself all set up, and when you're ready, we'll get started. All right, let's warm it up. Take those feet a little wider than hip width. We're gonna swing those arms back. Come up on the toes. Good, nice big rotation in through the waist. We're gonna do four more, two, and one. Bring those arms all the way up and then pull those elbows back and down. Reach it up, pull, and reach. Really trying to open up that chest, bringing the shoulder blades together in the back. Three. Final one, let's bring those ankles up and tap them out. For four, three, two, and one. We're gonna hinge here, get a stretch into the back of the thighs, then we'll reach those arms up. Take it down and reach. Let's go two more. Final one. We're gonna bring those knees up and give them a little hug side to side. Out those glutes. One more each side. We're going to go right into some butt kicks next. Bring those hands behind you and then try to tap your fingertips with your heels. Three, two, and one. Step those feet out nice and wide. We're gonna take it down to one side. Stretch out that inner thigh. Good, bring it center. If you don't wanna bend your knee, just come across. All right, you can always modify a movement. Make sure it feels good for you. Other side. Good, step both feet forward, take it down and touch that toe. You wanna to drive the toe towards your shin, drive your hips back, cross arm to toe. Four seconds left. Nice job. All right, pick up a single dumbbell, and we are going to be starting with those lat lunges. Now, if you want to stay knee friendly, you're just going to step it out here and swing. All right, so you can leave out the knee bend, or we're going to take it down, lift. Second exercise is a tricep, 
third exercise is either a lunge or just a step back and twist. We're going 30 seconds each. Here we go. Stay on this side. right into some overhead triceps. Now when we go into that lunge back, I want you to think about lunging back with that same leg that was doing the lateral lunge. And I'll turn sideways. We're gonna lunge back those arms down to lunge back you're going to twist towards the front knee and lift All of that on the other side, starting with those lateral lunges, or again, you're just stepping and swinging here and here. Okay, we got another 15 seconds. Nice deep breath in, get those shoulders back and down. Are you ready to go in four? Big step out. Right into those triceps, right here. Good, weight forward, step back, lunge and twist. Okay, moving on. I'm going to pick up a second dumbbell. Whew. And we are going to do a split deadlift to start. So one leg's going to be back. We're going to hinge at our hips and come into a deadlift. Then we're going to do a bench row. And then we're going to do a shoulder press. And we'll repeat that on the other side. So everything in this one is knee friendly, no modification required. Get one foot slightly back up on the toe. Here we go. Hinge it and lift.
Straighten it up into a press. Rest, okay. Doing all of that on the other side. Take your rest, drop your weight, shake up the arms. One foot is back on this deadlift. And remember, we're really hinging back so that when we come up, we're focusing on those glutes and hamstrings. Let's take it down, grab those weights. Here we go, hinge, lift and squeeze. Okay, take it down to the floor. You'll just need a single dumbbell. We're gonna be doing a renegade row. So we're going to be on our knees or toes, your choice. And I'm going to take it into a renegade row on one side. Okay, if you're doing that up on the toes, same idea. Second exercise, side plank. And feel free, you can drop to your knees to do your side plank. Third exercise, all the way down. And we're doing an abduction. All right, here we go. Renegade row. Option. Keep me waiting, I would wait a lifetime. In tricky situations, I will be a lifeline. Nobody's meant to be fighting alone. That's why I'm taking you home. I never felt something like this before. I know. Down to your elbow. Keep rotate. Side plank. Maybe I'm losing my mind, but I know I'll never leave you behind. No, baby, I got you. When you feel like falling, I'll be there to prove. Yeah, that baby, I got you. No matter the distance, no matter the moves. Yeah, baby, I got you. Two, drop it down, right into a leg abduction. Drive up with the heel, squeeze your belly in. So, renegade row on this side, side plank. And then we're gonna find out what our finisher is. I'm not gonna lie, I know what it is. You don't, but you will see it. Forward, knees or toes. 
here we go. Down to that abductor. They say I can't be fixed. One, two, three, your attention's all I need. Four, five, six, don't let it slip. One, two, three, I don't know who else to be. Four, five, six, like they say I can't be fixed. One, two, three, your attention's all I need. Four, five, six, don't let it slip. I don't have any feelings. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna quickly take a look in the box and let you know what we've got going on. Today's finisher is a five minute ab finisher. No equipment needed. So get laid down on your mat. And we're gonna start in a tabletop position. So I want your knees to be right underneath your hips. Let's press that back into the floor. Shoulders are off and we're just gonna pulse it out. Pull that belly in. We're gonna go 30 seconds right here. Good, make sure you got space between your chin and your chest, but you're looking towards your knees. We're gonna bring one knee towards us, extend the other knee, and switch. Give it two tugs. Keep those shoulders off the floor. We're gonna now go to double knees. Both knees in, extend. In, keep that back pressing down. All right, take a little rest. We're going to repeat that, and we're gonna add something onto that. So, rest that neck. If your neck gets sore throughout that, go ahead and just lower it down. You don't wanna strain through the neck, and just keep working those ab moves. So we're starting again in that tabletop position. Low back pressing down. Shoulders off the ground. Here we go. You've got this. Single legs. Here we go, double pull. Double knees. The 
remember we're adding on here. So we're gonna be lowering our head, but our legs are gonna stay in the same position. And we're gonna rotate them side to side. Good, head down. Knees to the side, kick them out. To the other side, kick them out. Pull that belly in. Right, we're gonna do 30 seconds bicycles to finish. Here we go, 30 seconds right here. How are those abs doing? They're almost there. We got eight seconds. Four. And one, drop it down. Let's extend those legs out, point the toes, get those arms overhead and give those abs a little stretch. <sighs> nice work, guys. Good. Let's pull one knee in towards the chest. And then start to bring that ankle towards you. Now, if that's too much, you can always just lift a knee. We're gonna do a reverse pigeon here. Get into those glutes. Hoping to find that something that makes you see that I and now rotate that knee back to center and we're going to pull it across the body, keeping our shoulders down on the ground and then turn your head opposite direction. Nothing catches my What do you get for someone who has it? I've been to every corner of this gut for Good. Roll it back, more. extend that leg all the way but out. Bring the other knee in towards the chest and give it a little tug right there. That <sighs> and let's come into that reverse pigeon. Remember, you can always draw that knee up. that back to center. Draw that knee across the body. Here, I want you to place both feet on the floor. Take yourself over to the side and then give yourself a little gentle push up. Take one leg back behind the other and then draw those hands behind your back, pushing your hip up towards your ceiling or whatever's above you right now. And then you can just sink into it, let the head relax. Bring that up. We're going to switch sides. Nice work. Bring it up. Let's take those legs out nice and wide. 
it up mm -hmm. nice and tall. Take it to one side, give it a little stretch right here. Christmas is this. Other side. So close your eyes and pucker your legs. Good. Bring it center, cross those legs, take a nice deep breath, reach it up, get nice and tall with those arms, exhale it down. Great job, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's workout. That's it for me today. You take care, and I'll see you on the next one.